when I was a little girl and imagined the day I found my wedding dress. It did not look anything like this. <laughs> Today's video is all about wedding dress shopping. So if you're in the market for a dress or recently engaged, congratulations, but it's COVID. So things are completely different than I think all of us imagined growing up that it would be. Your girlfriends, your moms, everyone kind of cheersing and sipping champagne while you walk out of the dressing room. It just doesn't look that way anymore. First, I'm gonna show you a bunch of dresses. So first we're gonna go shopping. And then at the end of the video, I'm gonna share with you all of the things that you should know going into this whole thing during COVID and then some tips I learned that I hope will help your experience. So enjoy my mom and I wedding dress shopping. Okay, here we are at the train station getting ready to go to New York. Mom's big trip to the Big Apple. It's my gloves. <laughs> my princess is trying on her first dress today and here we go. We just got to our first stop of the day. We're in the bridal suite right now. Let me give you a little tour. Best day ever! Let <laughs> me try some stuff on and I'll show you in a second. Oh, because I need time the yeah. right way. Okay, so this is an overskirt. So this can be, look, it's all drama. See her train, all drama. Drama for the ceremony, and then you we have some that are huge. What's your venue? Where are you going to be? Yeah. Do you want to party? Because you're not partying in these old So We're going to hang this. Because these are going to, I'm just telling you, they're going to be there right here. Going over my head. I got it. Oh, wow. Um, can you imagine this in your size? Yeah. You know? And remember, all of this would fit you. You know, it would be. Fitted to you got pockets for you, of course. It's more red carpet. It's mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know. I this it's is dope. more more the south of France. How much is this for me for the red carpet? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I got to look it up. It's mm -hmm. not a wedding dress, but it's. So we just left Mona's. Wona, not Mona's. Wona's. We just left Wona's. They were really nice. They took us in, even though we didn't have an appointment. So that was cool. And now. We are off to Kleinfeld. Welcome to Kleinfeld. That's Maddie. We just met and here we are. The zoo hair that you wanted to see. Oh, yes. Zoo hair. Oh, we're here for the zoo hair. Okay. So I feel like this would look stunning. Is that I'm, zoo I'm, hair? Yeah, yes. we're trying it. We have sure. to try it. We have to try it. We have to try it. I think you still need something a little edgy with that. Yeah. Zoo hair, I love you, but this is not it. <laughs> not Sorry, it. zoo hair. And she said this is detachable, so this for the ceremony. We'll want to do some boob tape that day, okay? Or body glue. We can play with it. Okay. You start on the first one. I love this. I know. This is going to be truly hard to me. This is Martina Liana Lux. Who? Martina Liana Lux collection. I mean, this, yeah, right, dude. This is beautiful. I mean, that train is. Okay. All right. And you look phenomenal. Thanks, Mom. I don't know why I don't like this. Oh, 
Yeah. On to the next. On to the next. Oh, wow. This one's very sexy. Very sexy. They can do stuff to change Wow. Come closer, you can come in the mirror. And this is, the fabric is incredible. Look at this. It's stunning. And if you pull your hair to the side, you should see the side. Whoa, beautiful. Wow. All hands on 3D applique. Uh, this is not the dress. Not the dress, Mom. Oh, she's she's so said she's pretty. So, Mom, this is a very popular dress. You can. We have three or four samples of this dress. It's, that's how often we pull it. I'll be back. You haven't cried yet, so I don't think this is it. It's hard you to, to cry when you're behind the camera. You have to start crying. Oh my God. Really beautiful. I don't think this is what I'm going to walk down the island. Yeah, it's really cool. The waist and the Pluto, right? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. It's beautiful. This top, I'm obsessed. Yeah. And I'm not sure I don't have an answer yet, but I want to like bookmark this piece as a potential. I just don't know what for. Yeah. But it's gorgeous. Which if you found cool. the right dress for underneath, I think that the, that's could work. Oh. What do you mean? Let me get off the way. So pretty. Oh. She's not crazy about it though. I don't have to love it. But you look so beautiful in everything. I look at the back. Oh, well, the back's sick. Oh, my goodness. The back is sick. Wow. Did mine have like a cool thing like this? I, I don't know. I remember. think we need to get back into the back first one. Wow. So here's this. I don't really love it, but I'm just showing you for giving show Uh huh. Maybe we'll put on the other one I had with a veil. That was the most exhausting experience ever. Tip number one, get sleep because trying on those dresses is not only mentally overwhelming, but physically overwhelming. So, you know, just go into it prepared that it is going to be a day, especially if you have multiple appointments, which I would highly recommend booking multiple appointments in one day. We did three. I would not exceed three appointments. That was enough. I was like ready to flop into bed by the end of that day. If you're anything like me and you don't think you're gonna find your dress in a handful of dresses, then booking multiple appointments gives you just that wiggle room. I ended up trying dresses that I never thought I'd like, like a ballroom princess gown, and I'm kind of in love with that. Also go in with some direction. So I, of course, made a Pinterest board, and the good thing about that is it helps the stylist get a sense of who you are right off the bat, so you're not wasting any time during your appointment. Most places only give you 60 to 90 minutes. Hi, Benji. There are so many tones of fabrics these days that that standard white is just not really the norm anymore. There's off-white, there's ivory, there's taupe, flesh tone, blush. It's, it's really crazy and cool how many there are. So when you're shopping, I'd ask the stylist to play with the fabrics and the colors and tones just to see how your skin looks against those different colors. Take a million photos. I cannot stress that enough for more reasons than one. Like one, you can share that with your friends, your family that couldn't come, all of that. But the other thing is for you, because the moment is so overwhelming and your adrenaline's pumping that you don't really see all the detail of dresses, especially the back. I'm only looking at the front, so my mom took a bunch of pictures from the back and I was like, whoa. Ask about dupes. Your stylist will be able to help you navigate what is the high end and then what is a more affordable price point in that same style. Take Berta, for example. That is a household wedding dress designer name that everyone knows and you go in and you think, I want a Berta, and then you learn it's like $7,200 and up, and maybe it's just a little bit out of the budget. So I found a Lenovo that is in the two to $4,000 price range that does a lot of similar things as Berta, and I really like that I could find that look in a lower price point. Overskirts are awesome. They are like the best way to give your dress a two-in-one look. It's a transformative experience where you can walk down the aisle and have that moment, but then you get to whip that off and you've got more of a form-fitting dress that you can kind of dance and move around in and not worry about it getting ripped by all of your guests. So I really like the overskirt situation. That is like a trend I am super into. Ask about sample sales. Um, a lot of these places have dresses that might've been on the rack for a long time 
time, maybe their last season, maybe they're just not selling well, whatever the reason is, they've got these dresses that they're willing to mark down, sometimes 50%. I was at this high-end boutique, the dress was about 9,200, I think, it was a Berta, and they came down almost half. It is something important to note because it can help you save a lot of money. So, what is wedding dress shopping like during COVID? Other than weird, I would say limited. Everything is much more limited than it used to be. Um, a lot of places will limit your appointment to 60 or 90 minutes. At Kleinfeld's, you could only bring two people. They would not let me touch any of the dresses, which sounds like an obvious and it's totally a safety precaution. It just made things a lot harder because they have 35,000 square feet of dresses. So I imagine myself like running through the racks. That's not how it looked at all. The stylist will pull it out and show you. I'm not gonna ask her to do that to like 5,000 dresses. So you just kind of have to skim. You gotta get really good at skimming. And then the obvious is you're wearing a mask when you're trying on dresses. So something I wish I would have done is gotten a flesh tone mask that would have just kind of like blended in and then I would have been able to focus on the dress. Seeing yourself in a wedding dress and a mask is just weird and it's a juxtaposition. So if you can find a flesh tone one, I'll look. If I find any, I will link them below. So I hope this video gave you a taste of what it's like finding a wedding dress these days. And I hope some of these tips and things I learned can help you on your search. If you're on the hunt for a dress right now, comment below. I would love to compare notes uh, because I still have to find the one or two. Now I'm thinking two. I don't know what I'm thinking, but that's another video. So if you guys aren't already subscribed, click subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.